So let's say I gave you this molecule and the question said, draw all stereoisomers. Okay, if it said draw all stereoisomers, you want to think two things. I want to draw the geometric isomers. I want to draw the optical isomers. Geometric has to do with cis trans fact mer. The optical isomers have to do with mirrors and mirror images. Okay, so let's do those two problems separately. You're going to see they're going to be a little intertwined. So first, let's try the geometric over here on the left hand side. So we've got CO. When I look at the molecule, I've got three individual ligands, the hydroxide, the carbon monoxide, and the nitrogen monoxide. And I've got three that are fluvalent, the three amines. Okay, so whenever I have three the same, I'm talking about fac and mer. <coughs> I don't have any two that are identical, so it's not cis and trans. The only possible geometric isomer is fac and mer. So let me draw the fac and the mer. I'll draw the fac up here. That fac is where you put the NH3s, which are the three identical ligands, all on different axes. Think of the x, y, z axis. And then fill in the rest with the other three. OH, we've got a CO, and we've got an NO. This is the fac. Okay? Now let's draw the mer. Uh, there's almost no room for the mer. Let's do it down here. Uh, so mer is where I'm going to put two of the NH3s on the same axis, the third one on a different axis. Which axis? The same, whatever. It's not going to matter. Just pick something and draw it, and then go from there. So let's just put top and bottom for NH3s. It's whatever you prefer, how you're feeling that day. And then put the other NH3 wherever the heck you want. Then you got CO, you got an NO, and uh, what else? An OH. Okay? So I, I drew the second one, mer. That's the one down here. Okay, so I've got fact and mer. I've got my geometric isomers. That's the only possible ones I could have. There's no cis and trans because there's no two that are identical. Okay, now what I want to do over here, I'm going to draw my optical. Okay? Well, there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, it might take some scratch work in the very beginning because you don't know how to precisely guess which one it's going to be. So you tell me how confusing or easy you want me to make this. The fact one, because you have three ligands the same, and the other three are all different, <coughs> will have an optical isomer, its own mirror image. However, the murder one in no case will have one because mer, have being like trans, is not going to have a superimposable mirror, like a non superimposable mirror image. So, what I'm going to do is I'll draw my mirror here. This is my mirror. And now, in the optical category, I'm going to draw again a fac. So, this will be fac also. So, it is a geometric isomer in that it's fac. However, it's going to be the mirror image. So uh, let me first draw it, and I'll say a little bit about it. NH3 on the top, NO on the bottom. Uh, close to the mirror are NH3s. And far from the mirror are the OH on top and the CO on the bottom. So there's the mirror image. Again, this is back. So in a sense, yes, it's a geometric isomer. However, these two that I'll connect with arrows, those two geometric isomers are also optical isomers. So I'll just write uh, their optical isomers. They're also enantiomers. The one on the right is called chiral. And the one on the left is also chiral. The one on the bottom is achiral or not chiral. So individually, you can call the two facts chiral, each are chiral. You can say they're optical isomers. You can say they're enantiomers of each other, stuff like that. Is that OK? So you see how the two categories mix? The mer, if you want me to draw it, I can. Its image, its mirror image, is going to be identical to the first. If they're identical, they're not non-superimposable. So it will not have an optical isomer. Is that? Yeah. So you don't draw. 
you would not draw a mirror of myrrh. Well, you could on your scratch work, but I'd eventually cross it out. So if you wanted to draw it, what I'd do is this. CO and then uh, NH3 and CO are on close to the mirror. There's an NH3 on the top, there's an NH3 on the bottom, and on the far side there's an OH and an NO. So you draw, okay, I drew that. Then you would say, okay, and this is myrrh. And you say, okay, are those two the same? Yes. <laughs> so they're not an antiverse. So you'd eventually have to cross this out because these are the same. So that's okay on your page, on your work. If you want to draw something, cross it out later. Because you realize, oh, they're identical. It's I, I shouldn't be drawing identical molecules for our, my isomer question. Okay?